Good morning, dear students. I welcome you all in the online computer class. In the last video, we studied important components of Synfig user interface. They are first one the toolbox, which is the main Synfig Studio window. It contains tools to create or edit your artwork. Next one is the canvas. It displays your artwork and animation, which we will be doing later. The canvas window is at the center of all the windows. This is a button with the carrot. If you click on this carrot button, the canvas window menu will pop up. The third one is panels, which we will be covering in this video. Synfig has different types of panels like params, children, keyframes, time track, curves, metadata, this is navigator, this is info, this is palette editor, this one is tool options, history, canvas browser, layers and groups. Panels contain tools and information about certain elements of your project. While some panels will allow you to modify the elements, the window on the bottom and to the right are customable dock panel. Each dock contains a set of panels arranged either horizontally or vertically. These are the panels arranged horizontally and these are the panels arranged vertically. This dock contains three panels. This dock contains three panels. This dock contains one panel. This dock contains two panels. This dock contains three panels. Whereas this dock contains two panels. Some panels share the same space inside the dock. And you can switch between them by clicking on their tabs like this. Here in this dock, groups, layers. Here in this dock, so we are switching between the panels in that dock. You can rearrange the contents of dock panels as you wish by dragging the panel tab to where you want it. You can even create a new dock by dragging a tab out like this. Now I'll place it again in its original position. If you accidentally close the panel, then don't worry. Select File Panels and here you can find list of panels. Now here I'll say select Palette Editor because I have removed that. Palette Editor is here. Now drag that. To the required place. Now let us create a new file by selecting toolbox, file, and new. Or when you start synfing, a new file is automatically created. 
let us discuss the functions of some of the important panels here we have a palette editor this one is palette editor which allows you to edit the palette here if i choose yellow color then the fill color this one is the fill color will change to yellow in the lower palette of the toolbox this is the outline color while this is fill color now if i change to blue color in the palette editor panel then the fill color will change to blue in the lower palette of the toolbox if i select red color then the fill color will change to red if i select brown color the fill color will change to brown and so on now next right here we have the tool options panel if i select any of the tool from this toolbox say i select the circle tool its options will be shown in this tool options panel now if i select this rectangle tool from the toolbox then the options for the rectangle tool will be shown in the tools option panel this is the layers panel now if i select the circle tool and draw it in the canvas with outline color as dark blue and fill color as light blue let us see what the layers panel show here this is the layer for outline of a circle and this is the layer for fill color of a circle so layer panel displays layers of your working canvas it also allows us to manipulate this layers here we have our params panel this is params panel suppose i select this layer of a circle which denotes the outline of the circle the properties of this outline is shown in params panel this is params panel that the outline is of dark blue color and many other properties and parameters are also shown here this panel also allows us to make changes to the object now suppose i select this layer of the circle which denotes the fill color of the circle then the params panel shows the properties and that it shows that the fill color is of light blue color here and it also shows other properties or parameters of that circle so params panel shows the currently selected layers properties or parameters when multiple layers are selected then only the parameters that are common in the selected layers are displayed in the params panel here we have a navigator that allows us to navigate the canvas we can also move the focus around like this the navigator also shows a thumbnail image of the currently selected canvas we can also zoom in and zoom out this is zoom out and zoom in from here zoom out zoom in this is the info panel which places the coordinates of your action 
within the canvas. See, whenever I am moving this pointer here in the canvas, the corresponding coordinates go on changing in the info panel. Here we are having our timeline and we will be using this when we are doing animations. This is the history panel. It keeps track of all the actions that are done while editing the file. The checkbox column is used to disable specific action without going through the entire list. So if we want to redo or undo an action or group of action, just click on the checkbox like this for redoing and undoing the action. We can zoom out by pressing this button of course and we can zoom in by clicking this one. We can zoom back and forth between zoom to 100% and zoom to fit. Zoom to 100% zoom to fit. Zoom to 100% zoom to fit. We can change the name of the canvas and size of the canvas by clicking on Carrot, Edit, Properties. Here, we can change the name of the canvas to whatever we want. Currently, I am giving here as File 1. Now, we can also change the height and width of the canvas from the Image tab. Suppose I give the width as, say, 600 and height as say 400. Now we can also change the frames per second. From this time menu, there are additional options in this menu, but we will not need them right now. So just click apply and OK to accept these changes. Now let us navigate the canvas from here. When I scroll this up and down, see what happens? Now suppose if I move from left to right, just use horizontal scroll bar for moving the canvas from left to right. We can create a new project by clicking on file and new. And now we have two windows, window 1 and window 2. And of course, you can create multiple projects in this way. The good thing is that all these projects open in different tabs different tabs in the same space so you can work on multiple projects all at once and here we can change the name of this tab by going on carrot button edit properties and then edit the name right from here so i'll give the name as file 2 Press apply. OK. In the next video, I will talk about different tools and how to use them. Thank you. Have a good day.